just going to ask a question. If you've been suffering from saddle pain, butt pain, seat pain, sit bone pain, hundred names for it, right? We've all been there. Even with a Brooks saddle, when you first get it, I had to spend 500 miles getting the thing broken in. I heard people telling these stories about how they didn't have any saddle pain. They didn't wear any kind of special gear. Well, I didn't find that to be the case. I went out to the local sporting goods store and I bought some of these, right? Bike shorts. These are not expensive ones. Maybe that was my problem, I don't know. These were about, I think about $35, and I was wearing them underneath your good old traditional athletic shorts, going out and biking with them. And did it help? Yeah, a little bit, but not, uh, not as much as I thought. And so I began to question, was it the shorts? Was it just that I hadn't toughened up enough yet, hadn't rode enough yet? Because we all know that when you're touring, the most important thing is time in the saddle. You just need to spend time in the saddle. The miles will come. Your butt takes more time to season. So I thought I'll do anything to try to make this go a little easier, a little better. Tried these. I just wasn't happy with them. Uh, maybe I just didn't buy the right thing. Totally possible. But what I did was I started doing some research and looking around and I settled on buying some of these. And these are mountain bike shorts. Uh, I got these from Amazon. They are the Santic brand. Um, they are all in one. So you look inside here, the pad is inside, right? It's all attached. You can't take it out. Um, for some people that is a disadvantage. I understand that as well. But for me, this worked out really well. What do I like about them? Well, I like the material. The material is really lightweight. Um, I like that these black areas that you see here and here are made of a elastic kind of stretchy material that is also really, really thin. So it breathes really well. Air gets through here without a problem. That's nice. That same black elastic band is on the back as well. So when you're leaning over, you get a little bit of stretch, you get some air in there, and that helps really keep you cool. I found these to be very comfortable. They're an elastic waistband. There's a drawstring with this little thing here that goes in and out. There are two pockets that are zippered here. Those pockets are deep enough to get a wallet in. You can see how far my hand kind of goes in there. You can get a wallet in there. You definitely can get like money, credit cards, things like that if you're, if you're kind of minimalizing what you carry. There's a pocket on each side that does both, and I like the zippers, so if I want to throw something in there, make sure it doesn't come out, the zippers work great. What I find is, is that while I'm cycling, my legs are moving in these, this, these stretchy areas are super, super comfortable. They give and move as I'm moving on the bike. Also, the pad that's in these is really comfortable. It has good cushion for your sit bones, and everything fits in here just fine guys so for you dudes who are wondering how you're how you're gonna feel wearing these i find them to be very comfortable um, the disadvantages certainly are that you can't take these apart and wear them any other way uh, they are you know the liner is attached it's going to be there um, the other disadvantage is, is you have limited color choices with this particular style or brand uh, maybe they offer others but with this particular line there's only gray pretty much and so that's not a problem for me I don't really care uh, about the the colors necessarily as long as they're neutral and as long as they're comfortable I'm gonna wear them no matter you know what the color is I'm not real picky about that kind of stuff so the other thing I like about them is is that you can very comfortably wear them into a restaurant for lunch or dinner or whatever and not feel awkward about it um, you're not gonna have that sort of diaper look on the bottom. It does a good job of sort of concealing that, that you're wearing bike shorts, even though maybe everyone there will know it anyway. I don't know, it doesn't, not a big deal to me, but it is nice that they still look like regular shorts. Um, I like the length, they're just a little bit longer, just to the to the top of the knee, which I think is, is good for me. Um, so yes, $26 on Amazon. I'm gonna put a link in the description. I think you should check them out. I think you might like them. They might work for you. This, you know, like I said, uh, Asian sizing. Check the sizing chart. This is a 2X 
normally I would just wear like large size, but this is a 2X, so it's usually about two size differences. So if you're looking at these, make sure you take that into consideration. Look closely at the sizing chart. Asian sizing, completely different. Um, so make sure that you look closely at the sizing. The 2X worked out great for me. Um, perfect size worked out. 26 bucks, you can't beat best bang for the buck. Uh, you get the cycling short part, you get the mountain bike sort of short part, all in one. Give these an order, give them a try. Just want to say a thank you to everybody for the subscriptions over 300, which I know in YouTube world is not a big deal, but for me, hey, that's really cool. I do this for fun. Um, I'm not a professional, obviously. If you watch these videos, you know I'm not a professional YouTuber. Uh, I just uh, enjoy making these videos, having some fun with it. So I just want to say thanks to everybody for the subscriptions. If you like the videos, please give a thumbs up, share it if you would. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, smash that subscribe button. Get on board. We're going to make more videos. I'm doing it for fun, so let's have some good times. So thank you. Appreciate it. See you soon.